soaps like mine is very, very important to the local community, especially for the you know, elderly people who use it every day. Unfortunately, the British High Street is changing and it's very, become a very difficult for the independent retailer like mine to compete against. Tobacco smuggling is one of the many problems we retailers are facing, especially it's very difficult to you know, compete against the black market price. If this is going to carry on like that, I don't know what's going to happen and, and what we're going to do about it. More than £8 million pounds worth of illegal tobacco is sold every day in the UK. These products are often smuggled from countries where the tax on tobacco is much lower and sold for a street price of around £3, half the UK retail price. Thanks a lot. Have a good day, young man. For shopkeepers such as Mahendra, it's a life-affecting situation. It's a major part of my business. One third of my business is come from tobacco. If the down the road is somebody selling cheaper than mine, literally maybe half price, then unfortunately those customers are not likely to come to my shop and they will buy from there. It will affect my business. There are lots of other shops is closed down. Then the community will, you know, the, it will suffer for this one. The black market is a massive problem, not only for legitimate shopkeepers, but also the general public. At half the price, illegal tobacco products are much more readily available to children, as the people who sell them do not care about the age of their customers. Latest figures show that tobacco smuggling costs the Treasury up to £3 billion in lost revenue. That's the equivalent of over £8 million per day. No UK tax is paid on 24% of cigarettes and 67% of hand-rolling tobacco consumed in the UK. In the past 10 years, over £45 billion in tobacco tax revenue has been lost to smuggling and cross-border shopping. If the tobacco display is banned, I think the problem will get worse. If the customer has to ask for the cigarette under the counter, I think they feel that they're doing something wrong. Something got to be done to tackle this problem. My business and livelihood are suffering. There are so many regulars and on the shopkeepers who sell tobacco, but the criminals make the mockery of the law and shopkeepers suffers.